It's August and I bet all the veggies that you've planted are kicking in big time. Here we have some beautiful zucchini. If you want a lot of zucchini, harvest it often, at least twice a week. The more you harvest, the more fruit it'll produce. You can use a knife to cut it at the base, take it inside and enjoy it. I bet during the late summer you find yellow jackets to be particularly pesky when you're eating outdoors. Your first inclination is to swat them. Don't do it, you're gonna get stung. Here's what you can do instead. Go out and buy yourself a trap. You can find them at garden centers and nurseries. You'll wanna bait them with non-toxic materials. Here we're gonna use some limeade, a little bit of extra sugar, and some tuna. Set the trap up away from your picnic area. The yellow jackets should go there. They're attracted to the bait. They'll fall in and die. Go check your trap every couple weeks. Make sure there aren't any live yellow jackets in there when you open it up. And you should have a safe picnic outside this summer. Good luck. In the summertime, hopefully you're growing lots of blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries in your yard. But you may want to be aware of one pest that will lay its eggs and damage some of your fruit called the spotted wing fruit fly. This uh, creature will lay eggs on your fruit, the larva will hatch, and that larva will uh, feed on your fruit, making it mushy and making the fruit taste pretty bad. So here's a really simple trap you can put out to catch those guys. Make a simple trap out of a Tupperware container, punch holes around the top edge, put some apple cider vinegar and a little bit of soap. This will attract the adult fruit flies. They'll land in here, they'll drown and they'll die instead of laying eggs that will do more damage to their summer fruit because I want you guys to be able to enjoy all of those fresh fruits for the rest of your summer. This is a great time of year to check and make sure that you are harvesting your apples on time. This is something you can do during August and on into September. There are four key things you can check uh, to make sure your apples are ready to harvest. The first is look at the ground under the tree, uh, see if any fruit have fallen, that's your first sign. The second is to come up to your tree, grab an apple and do a simple lift test. If the apples pop right off, they're ready to be harvested. If they're holding on tighter and they don't wanna come off easily, leave them there and come check those apples again in a few days or maybe next week. The third thing you can do is cut the apple open, check the seed color. Uh, ripe apples have dark brown, almost black seeds, so if they're tan or white, you might want to leave the rest of the apples on for a little longer. And then the fourth thing you can do is simply taste it. Do your apples taste away in texture and flavor the way that you want to? If all of these four tests work for you, you know your tree is ready to harvest and enjoy for the rest of the year.